to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Python, Top Glock. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the red corner, 28 years of age, she's done 166 centimeters tall and weighing at 17.3 pounds. She holds a record of 43 wins, five losses, and one draws. She is the BBC Muay Thai World Champion, representing Brazil. Let's hear it for Barbara the Anaconda. Oh, yeah. And the opponent fighting of the blue corner, 34 years of age. She is 167 centimeters tall and weighed at a time 17.3 pounds. She holds a record of 42 wins, 13 losses. She is Estonia Muay Thai national team and Portion Fight Night champion. Representing Estonia, let's hear it for Marie Three two minute rounds of female bantamweight action, 118 pounds. Round one of a schedule three, here we go. <laughs> Start here from Marie delivering good kicks to the body. There's a teep. She might need that teep as well to keep Barbara away from that strong vice like grip that she has within the clinch. That's a good hand. Good right hand once again. And again, snapping left jab there. Oh. Barbara with a right high kick. But we know all about the clinch that Barbara Aguayer possesses. Very dangerous. She's incredibly strong. Uh oh, here we go. Those knees to the body that Barbara will be looking for. Mary claims to be a knee fighter herself. But of course, a different type of knee fighter is Barbara I'll pushing be forward. Very surprised that she's ever faced a fighter as strong as Barbara in her career. But so far, oh, are we able right to here. keep Barbara she at distance? Fighting well. Doing a really good job not getting in the inside. Oh, left and right hand there from Marie that connects. And again with that left hand, and Barbara is actually struggling she is to indeed. understand the distance right now of the Marie. The stronger but the slower of the two is Barbara. Can That's Marie right. keep her at distance? Great. Oh, minute and a half there from Marie. She's working well. Those kicks to the body, those hands, those jabs. Barbara struggling right now. Barely able to throw anything. Not getting into the clinch with a few knees. Good lock here for Barbara. The ref letting the action go as well. Thrusting those knees into the midsection. A good round though from Marie. Dare I say, as it stands, she might have taken it. Left jab there Absolutely. from Marie. Who expected her to perform so well. The biggest underdog of the night. Great performance, great round. Marie. Going back to her corner. I think there's a strong case that Marie remained it enough to take that mm, round. I really do. Could have. Could have been. Barbara was looking confident. Marie, not so much, somehow. Well, let's have a look at the highlights. A lot of output from Marie within that round. Barbara, you know exactly what she's going to do. She's going to walk forward. She's going to walk through. A few punches. She doesn't match, she doesn't care as long as she can get that vice like grip. I should say that anaconda grip around the neck of her opponent, which she did on a couple of occasions and was able to throw some knees as well. But that was really the story of the round. Barbara. Yeah, a lot of shots in that round. I'm sure the coaches won't like that whether she was able to get within the clinch or not. Now she's walking a little bit more pace towards Marie Rumi. She's doing well on the back foot. She is indeed. You don't want to let Barbara into the clinch, though. 
<laughs> yeah, you could see as soon as he gets a hold of that neck. Marie Murray, though, doing not too oh. badly within the clinch. Right. Let's not forget, before her fight with Juan Jai, she had a long period off from the sport. Oh, great point. Team. So she might not have been 100%, of course, she was a late mm. replacement. So we might have not have gotten to see the best of Marie Roumet against Quan Jai. And she was very emotional after that fight, and that might have been one of the reasons, the fact that she couldn't show the best of herself, where right now against Barbara Aguilera, she looks fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So check what there from Marie Murray, body shot from Barbara. Almost a perfect game plan, staying on the outside. Not letting Barbara get to her. Again, Barbara, very strong, very powerful, but much slower than Marie. She's been a little bit one-dimensional as well, is Barbara. She's not, she, we did see that she can throw punches through the body, like we did in the last fight, but she's just walking straight forward right now. Yeah, absolutely. Not now, looking for anything other than the clinch. Now the ref not letting them work too long in the clinch, which is not gonna help Barbara at all. That one shot though from Barbara, that right body shot, is proving to be a little bit difficult for Marie Marume to handle. But when they get into clinch like that, it doesn't seem to bother Marie too much, dare I say. And here comes Barbara once again, but the referee's going to separate them. See Barbara a little bit frustrated there. Yeah, absolutely. Eyes yeah. locked onto the ref. Another great round for Marie, in my opinion, at least. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right shot to the body. Oh, God, round number two. Well, well. Ah, oh, we now see the very best of Marie Roumet. Deep breaths there by Barbara Aguayer. The Snow Leopard going into round number three might be on top. Very close round. Maybe even closer than round number one. But I do feel once again that Marie Roumet might have just gotten the better of that round. It was a tough one to score. Teeps there from Marie, right hands from Barbara. That's where she off balance, Barbara. Nicely timed right hand to the body. She did throw a few of them in that round. Will it be enough to take it? Let's find out. Gonna score points. All right, let's find out what happens here in round number three. A completely different fight we're witnessing here in Marie Murray co compared to the first fight. And you did a great point. Marie was off for a few months. Now that she's back, and you can see looking much faster and fitter already. But here comes the Anaconda using her hands this time. She does not have a ch choice. She needs a knockdown. Yeah, absolutely. I think there'll be questions asked. Why was she thrown those hands in rounds one and two? Mm. You can see within the clip, she's so strong, so aggressive. <laughs> Referee not allowing that one to play out. There's that jab from Marie. Kick and move. There we can see the stats. More knee and elbows, sorry, knee and kick strikes from Marie. Equal on the elbow strikes. Four more punches from Bravo. That's mm. interesting to see. Right kick, see Barbara once again trying to go back to the body, right hand to the temple there of Marie. Ooh. <laughs> Barbara walking into that knee yes, this time. Did. And again, not long now. Just under one minute to go. It's looking good for Marie Roumet. Big hand there from Barbara. Oh, and an elbow strike. And a left knee. And again with that left knee. Yeah, but it will not be enough though. She needs a, a knockdown and she needs to use her hands, use her elbows. By the way, Marie and oh, oh, right oh, oh, oh. Marie's got to be careful. There's a left, another bo right body shot there from Barbara. Oh, and Marie really surviving the end of this round. Taking another a lot of punishment. Strike. And again with the elbows within the corner. The Snow Leopard in a little bit of trouble right now. And all the round, Marie Rude makes it and will get three points going into the final group stage.
A lifeline for the Snow Leopard, who, let's not forget, was not the favorite, was the underdog for this fight. It will be Marie Roumet against Gamblai Pet in the next. And Barbara will be taking on Quan Chai. Right hand there. Deeps from Marie. He was able just to keep Barbara off just enough. I mean, it could be the fact that Barbara has won this round, which means she will have won it in the eyes of judge number three, but it will be irrelevant for judges one and two. Because she's, of course, two rounds up on their scorecards. How about this? What a performance by the Snow Leopard, taking out the Anaconda here on RWS. One of the favorites for the tournament has hit a speed bump. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge's scorecard. The first judge got is about 30 to 27. The second judge got 30 to 27. And the third judge got 29 to 28. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision.